Yesterday, we told you about some issues drivers in Lee County experienced at the start of the new school year. Well, it seems they weren't alone as Tift County officials say they're having the same traffic issue. Fox 31's Courtney Highfield has that story. The first week of school is always pretty stressful for students and teachers. And in Tift County, it's been stressful for drivers, too. This is because of massive traffic issues caused by parents driving their kids to school. The first week of school, I think, for any school system is a little bit of a learning curve for everyone involved. And we see it especially in our primary school settings um, because you've got a lot of new parents. This is the first time they've been in a formalized school setting. And you've got children who have never been in that type of setting as well. After the first few days, school officials ask that you no longer physically bring your child into the school. Instead, they ask you simply drop them off at the front. It gives them a kind of little boost of confidence to that they're a big kid now and they can handle that. One of the busiest areas is on Carpenter Road, where Annie Bell Clark Primary School is located. If there's any way you can avoid this area during the peak school drop-off and pick-up times, officials say you should. Anytime you can do anything to alleviate a congested area, whether it's school-related or any other issue related, then um, of course that'd be a great thing to do. But if you have to go through the school zones, the sheriff says there are a couple things he asked drivers not to do. Following too close and getting up, you know, uh, maybe, and we, we have some that's where they bump into each other and, and uh, turn in front of people and uh, even we've had instances where they turn in front of school buses. And they, you know, they shouldn't do that. We've got 70, 80 people on those buses. Sheriff Scarborough also stressed that drivers need to be going the speed limit and paying attention to the directions crossing guards are giving so traffic isn't such a headache. Courtney Highfield, Fox 31 News.